Hey, how's it going? John Ellison here from ReFiDAO. I wanted to provide a quick update. It's much easier to watch a quick video than to try and skim through all the comms channels. So if you're a founder looking to make the most of Web3 to address climate change, biodiversity collapse, and social injustice, check this out. The first is Gitcoin Grant Round. Out of the top 10 projects funded by Gitcoin in the last round, most of them were ReFi. Four out of the top five, in fact, were ReFi. Something is definitely happening here. The Web3 community in Ethereum and beyond is really recognizing that these tools are most suited for the very challenging crises that are facing us in this time. We want to go through a lightweight advice process inviting key members in the community to give their blessing on the budget. The headline here is that both Daryl and I would love to take this opportunity to jump in full time, but we need the means to do so. The second piece here is the heart of our community build, which is Founders Circles. Daryl had kindly organized these circles earlier in 2022, before ReFiDAO was even really a thing. And it's looking at how we can connect early stage founders with other peers at similar parts of their ventures to make the most of this opportunity. So we're going to go and shift to a self-organizing model, as we've seen folks like John from Carbon Wallet, Helena Merck from Spirals Protocol and Gordon Gould raise their hands and say, hey, I want to start a circle. I want to take a set of peers through a journey and enjoy each other's company, learn from one another, build public goods together, launch together, raise money together, you name it. Being a founder can be incredibly lonely, but it doesn't always have to be that way. We believe that by investing in relationships and deepening the quality of, of our interactions, we can have the greatest impact in this movement. Because at the end of the day, climate is suffering because of people and our behaviors. As a result of our relationships, we can shift from an extractive to a regenerative economy. So stay tuned for some announcements around up and coming ReFi Founder Circles events. We're going to do a series of um yeah, fun activities to help people find other peers that are self-organizing around building on Celo or working with oceans, working with carbon, working with NFTs, you name it. So check that out. Daryl is going to be leading that process. The next is ETHCC. Uh, we've had the great pleasure of partnering with Phil Fogel from Flow Carbon for an event on Wednesday, July 20th from 6 p.m. If you're coming to Paris, let us know. We would love to connect early stage founders in ReFiDAO with some of the top protocols in this movement, some of the best investors, and some of the most powerful builders in the space. Hit me up. I'll get you a ticket. It would be an honor to meet you there and to hang out in person for once. It'd be a great change. The next is ReFi Podcast. We are about to launch season two. We've got August 5th penciled in with Bankless Down to do a spaces. It's gonna be super fun to just jam and hang out and celebrate this next journey that we're going on. So stay tuned for that. We're also doing an evolution of the refidow.com directory. That's kind of a key part of the protocol build. We're setting the foundation for a unified data set that can be shared across us, Impact of Finance, um, Green Pilled and their research stream, and also hopefully Prime DAO as they move forward these prime ratings off the back of the data set that we have gathered. So this is a quick update on Monday, July 11th. I hope you are jamming, having fun. Let me know if I can do anything. Reach out to Daryl, reach out to anyone in this space. We wanna create a community led by founders committed towards using these incredibly powerful coordination tools in Web3 to address the problems that really matter. So despite the macro conditions, we're still building, we're still moving forward. If we can do anything to help, let us know. Peace be with you and we will see you next time.